The world was fighting shoulder to shoulder. On February the 20th, President Xi Jinping wrote a reply to Bill Gates, co-chairman of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In his letter, he expressed his appreciation for the foundation's support for China's fight against COVID-19. Bill Gates had previously written to President Xi, expressing his appreciation for the Chinese government and people's actions against the novel coronavirus disease and pledging support for the global response to the outbreak. On January the 27th, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation announced a commitment of 5 million US dollars as an urgent donation to support China's response to COVID-19. In the months that followed, the foundation increased funding to $250 million to aid the global fight. Part of this fund was designated to accelerate the development of medicines, vaccines, and diagnostics in China. On February the 14th, a large batch of medical goods donated by the Iraqi people was loaded onto a cargo plane. Ten days earlier, the Iraq-China Friendship Association had sent 110,000 face masks to China, having scoured cities across Iraq to find and buy supplies. Even in a country still dealing with the effects of war and conflict, people still remembered their Chinese friends. بمساعدة من شركة دي اتش ال والحد الان عندنا 55 طن وبالوزن بعد ما كامل تصل الكمية الى 70 طن من المساعدات من الكمامة. Though separated by mountains, we share the same clouds and rain. The bright moon belongs to both of us, not just to one side. These words, taken from a poem by the 8th century Tang Dynasty poet Wang Changling, were printed on the packaging of supplies donated to China by Japan. If the aid from Japan can be described as poetic, then the assistance from Russia came in a typically robust, straightforward way. On February the 9th, an Aleutian cargo plane delivered 23 tons of humanitarian goods directly from Russia to Wuhan. Seventy-seven countries, including Belarus, Thailand, Pakistan, the Republic of Korea, the United Kingdom, Italy, Algeria and Egypt, and 12 international organizations, among them the United Nations Children's Fund, provided China, in its time of need, with desperately needed goods and materials. More than 170 heads of state and leading figures in international and regional organizations also expressed their condolences and pledged assistance for China. Support even came from the sporting world. The FC Barcelona squad showed their solidarity with China when 22 mascots took to the field before a key La Liga match, wearing special shirts adorned with the slogan, Stronger Together, along with China, come on, written in Chinese. The fight between humanity and the disease is also a contest, one that humanity cannot afford to lose. People, even if they are thousands of miles apart, share the same feelings of love and sympathy. Stay strong, China. Constant encouragement and a steady stream of humanitarian goods flooded in from all over the world, giving strength to the Chinese people. China's foreign ministry repeatedly expressed the country's gratitude to the international community for the help it was receiving. A donation can be valued, but the ties of friendship are priceless. The Chinese people will never forget the help they received. <laughs>